Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing my powder foundation routine slash my everyday summer spring makeup. This is what I wear most days. I've worn this powder foundation probably eight or nine times now and so I have a good feel about uh, my thoughts on it, how it wears, what it looks like. I found that this powder foundation routine looks better with a natural look. This is four days when I'm not wearing lashes, I'm not doing like a cut crease. I just want to get out the door, you know, maybe go shopping, go to the grocery store, whatever, stuff like that. This is also good for the gym. You guys have requested this, I'm going to go ahead and show you the products that I've been using and just give you some options in case you don't have exactly what I I have and if you're new here I would love for you to subscribe I have a little friend up here which is like the weirdest spot for a little zit but I'd rather have it here than a big one on my chin so I'm saying thank you to the acne gods so let's go ahead and jump in to how I do my powder foundation routine all right so first up I would say you need to moisturize your skin if you're going to be using a powder foundation so the problem I have with a lot of powder foundations is they look dry or I don't get enough coverage that's probably the number one or they kind of cling so those are like the three things so I found a powder foundation that I really like bought it myself not sponsored they don't even know that I you know I'm a youtuber so I'm gonna start out with moisturizing because you want to have a base that's very slightly tacky you don't want it to be like you know slapped on where it's like a thick layer but you just want to make sure that you're moisturized so that powder foundation doesn't look dry take a shot every time I say powder foundation so I'm gonna go in with the pixie rose flash bomb I've used this a lot it works Really, I've used the Glossier Priming Moisturizer. I've used, I'm trying to think what else, the Tarte Prep Set Moisture Cream. Really, I've used the Tatcha Dewy, whatever, you know, works for you. I just happen to like this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and just apply this all over the skin, focusing it in the areas that I get really dry, which is my forehead. Next up, just because I have massive pores, I was blessed with craters on my face. I'm gonna apply just a little bit of a pore smoothing primer. Um, I mean, just because I feel like whatever I can use to help out my pore area, I will take it. This is not necessary, but I just need some help in this area. Next up, I'm gonna go in with concealer. Now, here's the thing. You can use a lot of concealer uh, to really kind of spot conceal or anything like that. I just use it under my eyes and on my eyelid, and I don't use the typical amount that I would use like full coverage glam, because the powder that I'm gonna be showing you guys really is a great coverage. I typically actually do my powder first and then take a tiny bit of concealer under my eye, but because I don't know what powder you have on hand, a lot of times putting a liquid on a powder can get really bad. So I'm gonna do it the correct way or the more forgiving way just to kind of demo. So this is the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm just gonna take about this much. I really am not gonna take a lot. The powder that I'm using has great coverage. Great coverage, you'll see when I demo it. So I'm just gonna take a beauty blender and blend this out and again like I said just on my lid too but I really just want it right under the eye I don't want to you know drag it all the way down because the powder that I have really does a great job covering so because the actual foundation I'm going to use is like matches my skin tone it's deeper I'm going to use this J-Cat Aqua Assurance powder just to set just under my eyes and my lid where I just applied that liquid product because we're not going to be applying any more liquid anywhere else. So just go ahead and take a little brush and set those areas. If I had the same powder that I'm going to be using all over, if I had the right shade, like a lighter shade, I could use that and not really even have to use any creams at all. But wow, my nose looks like Rudolph. I look like Rudolph. It's a great look. The next step is using a setting spray before your powder foundation. That's just what I enjoy. I've been favoring the ABH Dewy set. There's so many different setting sprays right now and I haven't played around with enough underneath. This is the one that I keep going to. So I want to apply this, not liberally, I just want to kind of get a coating just so I have something for the powder to really cling to when I start buffing it in. So I just applied a few spritzes just to give me a little bit of moisture and then I'm going to go in with the actual product that I keep raving about. So I saw this floating around on Instagram and YouTube and I went ahead and purchased it and I was blown away. This is from an Australian brand called Fit Cover. I got the shade Embrace. Now they also send you samples, like three different samples, which I thought was nice. Embrace looks dark in the actual jar, but for some reason it blends out to look fine on my skin tone. I've been wearing it 
a lot in my Instagram photos, a lot on Instagram stories, and I haven't been you know, telling you what I've been using because I've been testing it out. So the brush I'm going to use is this big old Tarte brush. You can use a smaller brush. I just found this works well. It just kind of covers a lot of surface area and it gets me out the door. Gives me enough coverage. So the way that I use this is I, you know, put this much into the cap and I start out and start buffing. So I'm going to kind of buff my brush into it's like the swirl tap buff situation like bare minerals all right here we go so i just kind of go like this and then you see it's on the brush you can tap it off i'm going to go ahead and start buffing and you'll see the coverage that i'm going to get Okay, so we're getting somewhere. That's kind of what you can expect with one kind of cap full. It depends on, you know, your skin. Do you have perfect skin? Do you have acne? Do you have texture? Do you have redness? I have general redness, so I need more coverage than the typical, probably, you know, consumer would need. So I'm going to go ahead and apply another cap full or dump out another cap full and then do the same exact thing. So swirl it in, make sure it's really nice and packed into the brush and then start buffing. So I found that buffing is the best technique and then when you need kind of like spot concealing or certain areas, you can use more of a stippling motion. Make sure that I'm covering every area. So this is what you can expect very quickly. I would say in under a minute, you're just gonna buff it on until you get the coverage you desire. And the funniest thing is it's set. So you don't need to add any more powder. I'm gonna go back in with my J-Cat just to make sure that I keep kind of that brightness around my eyes. Because like I said, I would typically do this backwards and that it does work that way where you can do your uh, face first and then go in with your concealer. but. This way I'm just kind of bringing back that brightness around my eyes and it's so quick you guys like I could leave the house right now. So I highly recommend this powder. Bought it myself. I can't remember the exact price. I will link it down below but it shipped to my house from Australia within like four days which I thought was great and again they give you samples to try other shades. So I'm going to quickly jump off camera and do my brows super fast and then I'm going to show you Kind of the products that I would use to get my everyday quick, like cute summer glam, but it's not going to take me a long time. Okay, so I did my brows off camera and I'm going to go ahead and bronze. I'm going to use my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. There's so many great bronzers out right now. This is the deep one and I'm going to use my Sephora 72 brush. I really have been enjoying this and I'm just going to kind of use this to kind of shape the face, contour, give me some color. I've really been enjoying this brush. Also, I'm gonna take a little bit, I've been kind of being a little bit less harsh with my uh, nose contour because it looks good on camera sometimes to have like a really harsh nose contour, but it's really not like, it's hard to get it right, I guess like in person, I feel like maybe. So I've just been doing more of like, kind of just like bronzing. This is a Luxie 130. Next I'm gonna do blush. I like a really hot colored blush, especially when I'm super bronzy. So this is NARS um, Scar, wow, I cannot speak. Starscape, I think this was limited edition. Any like hot pink, hot red, hot orange. I also really like, this is totally different, but this is uh, Seychelles by Buxom. This is the more like bronzy one, but today I want to go more kind of pinkish. So I'm just going to stamp this into the skin. And then you can even kind of just like bring it over your nose. For the eyes, I'm going to keep it super natural. I'm going to go into the shade Peach. This is actually a blush from Laura Mercier. You could seriously use like a bronzer. You could use anything just because my eyelids are uh, quite light because of the concealer. I just want to put a little bit of color and I'm just sweeping it. Honestly, you don't have to do a lot. Next up, I'm going to do lashes. I'm going to use my little mini hourglass caution. I have the tiniest little lashes. So, you know, on film a lot or when I'm filming, I'm wearing you know, false lashes, but for every day, that's just not 
um, what's the word I'm looking for? Convenient or practical. I wish I had like huge lashes. Like I feel like people with like tons of lid space, huge lashes, big bushy brows, they're like so lucky. I'm like, oh great, I have none. So I'm really gonna pack this on because otherwise I look like a naked mole rat, you know what I mean? Okay, I'm also gonna apply a tiny bit to the lower lash line. I have kind of longer lower lashes than I do top, so it can look a little bit weird. So I'm just gonna apply like a really small amount. Okay, so for highlighting, I'm gonna go in with this Master Chrome Molten Peach from Maybelline. Just because this is a really peachy, summery, glowy highlighter, I am going to spritz my brush just because that's what I always do. And then I'm going to apply this basically all over. This is like a good color when you have a tan. So I really find myself kind of buffing in. So it gives you that really kind of wet look. Can you even apply a little bit up here? Okay, down the center of my nose, I went ahead and went in with this iconic London Multi Glow in Frosted Gold and a small brush. It's so pretty. Puppy is snoring so loud. So I went ahead and lined my lips with this Sorme Cosmetics Lip Liner in Nude Number 7. And then I'm gonna go ahead, I think I'm gonna take a little bit of this Fenty Beauty Unattached and put it in the center of my lip. Like that's enough, because this is like intent. Kinda gonna use this as a lip stain. A little goes a long way with this product. And then to go over that, I'm gonna take my YSL Slim Lipstick in number 24, which is a pink. And then to go over that, because I'm extra, I'm gonna go in with Super Nude from KKW. And then the last step is I use the Benefit number three precisely my brow and I just do freckles. So they're just faux freckles. There's no rhyme or reason. And then just to mesh them in, you can use a beauty blender but I'm gonna go back into my blush and just kind of reinforce. You can even bring your blush you know, kind of up, and then bring it across the way, like I said before. So you almost just look a little bit like sun-kissed. And then I just wanna brighten my highlight up just a tiny bit, so I'm gonna go in with Kylie Queen, which is a loose highlighter, it's like a light pink, just to really intensify this. And then last but not least, setting spray. I want something that's gonna give me a do, so I'm just gonna try this out. I've tried it a couple times, but I want to use it on camera again. This is the Farsali setting spray. So let's just apply this to make us super dewy. All right guys, so here is the finished makeup look and I hope you guys got some inspiration on how to do, you know, powder foundation, make it quick, make it easy. Of course, I kind of, amped it up a little bit for like a super glowy look just to show you on camera what you can achieve with just a handful of products. So hopefully this helped you guys out. The one thing I will say about this foundation is it does last all day. I mean, it lasts a good amount. I would say a good eight hours before you need to touch up. I don't get greasy with it at all, but I also don't get dry. The one thing I wanted to mention is that this powder foundation along with most I don't find is smoothing. So you are gonna see, you know, texture around your pore area, but to me, it's like a natural look. So I found that this looks best with more natural looks like this. This is more of an everyday foundation if you want that natural glowing look. And I don't know if you can tell, but the powder before I even put on highlighter or anything really has a sheen to it. So I think that's why it isn't super smoothing on your pore area. So I just wanted to let you guys know that just in case you have a lot of texture or you're like, you know, 
you want something super smoothing this is not smoothing but it has great coverage and it gives you that really natural look if you're after a natural lightweight powder foundation that has coverage I mean, I highly recommend this. So really love it. Probably going to pick up a couple more shades because this one is like my self-tan shade. So hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know if you want more tutorials just in general. Sometimes I feel like my tutorials have to be super over the top, but this is what I've been favoring lately in my daily life. And when I post it on Instagram, you guys are always asking. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know down below and I'll see you guys in the next video.